Scarlet and Violet is here, and today we're gonna be opening up an entire booster box of cards just a little bit early. And then at the end, we're gonna find out exactly how many cards I have to complete this set, because I'm gonna be trying for this. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I did open up a few of the pre-release boxes a little while ago, so I've got a couple cards, but it's nowhere near being done. So let's crack open this booster box and see what we're gonna get. Alrighty, everybody, so here it is, the Scarlet and Violet booster box. I am seriously pumped about this. Also, something interesting about these cards, if you guys didn't know, is that there's a brand new thing going on here where there's really not a pack trick and all of the borders on them aren't yellow, they're gray. And I feel like if you've been keeping up with Pokemon, you would probably already know that, but I've got this thing open, so let's slide it up here and see what these pack arts are looking like. Wow! And just like that, everybody, there is a complete booster box. I'm loving this. And so now let's take a look at the four packs here, where we've got the starters, as well as Coridon over here, and then we also have Maridon, the two legendaries. And then the last pack art that we've got here is the Terastalized Gyarados. I'm really hoping for that alt art. And so since we're looking for them, let's jump into it right away. Maybe it'll be some good luck. And now, like I said, everybody, there isn't going to be a pack trick on this, so we can just flip it around. Okay, we've got Mastiff here. I'm also not going to know all of their names because I'm a bit newer to this. But we've got Spewpa. We've also got Metatite. We've got Energy Search, Beach Court. Oh, that one's like right at the beginning of the game. Sandaconda, Katie. Okay, LeChonk. Now, I also want to mention that there are going to be two reverse hollows for these. You're always going to get this one, but then the next card could be something cool. And it looks like it's just a drowsy for this, but then we've got, ah, uh, a Houndstone. Then behind that, like I said, we do have just the energy. And then if you guys want to check it out, here's the code card. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is probably the most excited I've been for Pokemon in a while. Oh, these packs are hard to open. There we go. That's a little better. And anyways, let's pull this one out here. And I don't know why, but I'm super nervous. I guess it's because I haven't opened up a booster box in a while. We've got Quaxley. We've got Squovit. We've got, ooh, Charcadet, I believe it is. Lechonk. We've got Dash Bun. Tatsugiri. Ooh, Skolvalani. Skolvalani? I believe it is Skolvalon, whatever. You know, the one with the two heads, one's fire, one's grass. Anyways, doesn't really matter. But then we've got Energy Switch, and we've got Electric Generator, and ooh, Cyclozar. Now everybody, we're on to pack number three, and this one here is Coridon. And so let's see how we're gonna be doing here with Flabebe. We've got Toxel, Ralt, so far I've known all these. Growlithe, a classic one. Ultra Ball, Esparthra. We've got Arvin, I believe is how you pronounce it. Metatite Reverse. Then we've got Breloom, and Slow. Oh, bro, hollow. You know what, for the first three packs, we really haven't had anything crazy, but maybe the starter pack will really help us out here because I am loving the art on this thing. And now I'm noticing with these packs, they feel a little bit thicker than before. They're also a little bit harder to open up. So if you guys have seen that, please pop it in the comments. But we've got Voroom, we've got Clauncher, we've got Skidoo, we've got Beach Court, one that we got earlier, Sandaconda. I'm seeing a little bit of hollow. It's probably just the reverse though. Katie, Professor's Research, Starly, and Revavroom. Anyways, guys, we've gone through all of the art, so let's go back into them here with this one being Coridon and find out what we've got. Now I'm hoping for, if you guys are wondering, there was a couple cards that I wanted for my set. And I mean, like I said, I am trying to get all of them, so it doesn't really matter to me. And also with those four packs, I guess we did get things that I needed still. I didn't have a lot of those normal cards, which will be fun to go through later on to try to put them all into the binder. But let's find what we've got here. Metacham, we've got Tarantula, we've also got Toadscrew, and ooh, a Pomot. Honestly, hear me out, one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 9. And I'm sure you guys are gonna say at the F Evolutions all look very similar, but there's just something about them that I, I don't know, I really enjoy them. And so I'm hoping that maybe we can get more cards for it in the future. Now we've got Starly, Tarantula, we've got Walrent, we've got Crocorock, Torkoal, Breloom, Kilowattrel. I probably pronounced the first one wrong. Anyways, we've got Spupa, we've got Mareep, and ooh, Skeldridge. Nice. Oh no, hold on. Skeledurge. So still nothing too crazy. I mean, we have got a couple hollows that I need, but besides that, not much. And here we are. Uh, I'm hoping for something good on this one. Well, I guess this is technically a card that I don't have. We've got Grimer as well as, ooh, I've always hated this one for some reason. But anyways, we've got Cacne, we've got Sandile, Star Raptor, Electric Generator. We've got Wug Trio. That one's a really cool one. And even though it's not a hard card to get, it is a fun one to have. Then we've got Magneton. Ooh! 
Oh, look at that one. That is a really crazy starling. And also in the bottom here, I'm noticing that the star is gold, which I believe is, it's a rare. I'm just not exactly sure the new names for them yet. There's like hyper rare as well as rare. And then there's like a three star. I don't know, there's a lot going on there. If I do an ETB in the future, well, we'll check it then. But for today, I know that that is definitely a rare one. Then behind that, we've got a cloth, another cool Pokemon. But seriously though, that art is crazy. All right, we are on to our eighth pack here. And this one is another one of the starters. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I never know what to say at the beginning of these packs when I'm cracking them open. How do Pokemon YouTubers do this? Anyways, we've got Starly, we've got Clauncher, we've got Dolive, Quaxly, I feel like I'm getting a lot of him. Then we've got Experience Share. We've got Zangoose, ooh, Magikarp, and Dolive again. And then, really, Annihilate. I mean, I'll take the Annihilate, but I was hoping for an EX. Because if you guys didn't know, EX cards are back for this set. That's like the first time since, what was it, like maybe 2010? Might have even been earlier than that. So let's find out. Maybe we're going to be getting one inside of this pack. Oh, Tandem Mouse. That one's honestly one of my favorites. We've got Smoliv, Primeape, Cacturn. It's the place you go to at the beginning of the game. We've also got Heracross, Floatzel, Fido and Quaxquavel. And now if you think the polls have been a little bit slow so far, don't worry, we've got a lot more packs to go through. And we're only about 10 minutes into this entire box. I've got a lot of opening to do. And now here's the thing, I'm not complaining about it. I just haven't opened up any on camera in a while, so it is a little bit rusty for me. But anyways, Squawkabilly, oh, that is a funny one. Kind of reminds me of the three Caballeros from Disney. I don't know if you guys know who I'm talking about, with Donald, Jose, and Panchito. Those ones are some fun ones. Ah, Flamigo, I like that a lot. Then we've got Silicobra, we've got Chansey and ah, Bayonet EX. You know what? Funny enough, guys, it feels like that's going to be the easy one to get because inside of one of the build and battle boxes, that was the card I got. Definitely too bad, but you can't complain about an EX, and that is now two hits out of the entire box. And I'm going to be honest, it is a little too bad that they have ones that come up more often, but I guess they have to do that, so we're not getting the rare ones all the time. I also know that happens a lot with, was it Crown Zenith? I have so many of the Radiant Charger Bugs from that set. I think I'm up to like four or five now. It's kind of crazy, especially because that card is worth like five bucks. And anyways, we've got Toxel here. We've got Pokeball and ooh, Klefki. We are just about a third of the way through the box here. I think we've opened up 11 packs so far and let's see what we've got here. Actually, I think this would be a third of the way through the box actually. 36 packs for 12 in. Yeah, that would make sense. And anyways, let's see what we've got here. Klotzer. Klawitzer? I don't know. It's a new one for me. Grievard. Mastiff. We've got Pontiard. We've got oh, I can never pronounce this one. Pachirisu, I believe is what it is. And then we've got Picnic Basket. We've We've got Bombardier, we've got Skeldridge again, Skeledurge, sorry, I did it again. I've just got to ignore the names now at this point. And then we've also got Quaxley Reverse, and whoa, Gyarados EX! The Terrastalize version. Oh, but you know what? You're gonna hate me for this one too, everybody. Take a look at this. One of the ones that I got, it was that exact Gyarados. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was looking for the other version, like I mentioned earlier. I think I said it, the alt art, that's the one I was going for. So whatever, maybe I can do some trades in the future because there is a lot of cards in this set, I'm sure, because my brother Noah, as well as my friend Nate, both got one. They're probably gonna get some doubles and I can probably trade with them. And anyways, let's find out here. Drift Blim, Nest Ball, Flittle, then we've got Sprigatito, my first reverse, and then, ooh, Magnazone X. Because I know when it comes to these booster boxes, I believe you're guaranteed a certain amount of cards. I think it's something like 15 or something like that, 15 good ones. So maybe we're gonna be getting more. I mean, we're definitely guaranteed some more stuff, but I'm talking about like a real, real cool hit, like a super rare one. I don't know, I guess we'll just have to keep opening until we find it. We've got Crow Gunk here, Nest Ball, whoa! And then behind that, we've got, ooh, Arboliva, Arboliva, and then behind that, the Basic Energy. But now I gotta say, that is a really cool, and also my first gold card. I wonder if the gold card is like the big one for the box, or maybe there'll be another one. Anyways, let me see if I can get into this pack here. There we go. It is pretty satisfying when opening them up. I feel like the rip is a little bit more, I don't know, there's more to it. We've got a Wiglet, we've got Grievard, Picnic Basket, Bombardier, Hypno, Potion, Driftloom, and oh my God! 
Gosh. It's not the Gyarados, but I will definitely take the Arcanine. Oh, wow, that thing's amazing. It is the terastalized version of what was the thing behind it? A basic energy, but seriously, that is crazy. Alrighty, the starters, the starters, the starters. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you guys did play the game, which starter did you go with? Because for me, I went with Fue Coco. I don't know, I just feel like the fire starter is always like the best one to go with, and it was a pretty cute character this time, so you gotta do it. Anyways, we've got Floatzel, Team Star Grunt, we've got Lucario, Survivor, is that the reverse? I think so. No, it's not. That Ah, there it is, Wiglet. Oh my gosh, that thing looks great. Then behind that, we've got Armor Rouge, and then behind that, oh, just the basic energy. I always forget. But anyways, guys, that is a crazy, crazy card. I'm also liking the Psyduck, as well as the Love Discs in the front, and I'm sure there's some others too. I don't know how many packs we're in right now, but it looks like we're about halfway through the box at this point. And let's see, he 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 he. I'm also noticing here that every single one of the code cards so far has been white. I don't know if that's something that they're maybe changing up, or they're just leaving them white for the entire time. And I know Pokerev was talking about that too, where some of them were black, but then all of them were white for one box. I'm not sure. It's a little bit weird. But anyways, we've got Energy Retrieval, Experience Share, and Coridon. And now I'm also kind of curious, can you finish off an entire set with one booster box? I don't believe you can, but like what is the fewest you could do it in? Is it maybe like three or two? I'm not exactly sure, but whatever it is, I would like to hear that one too, because I feel like, I mean, how many hits would you need? I think like I said, you get about 15, so you'd probably get a good amount done if they were all different. And anyways, we've got Pachirisu, Judge, we've got Go Goat, and King Gambit. Not the one that I wanted, I wanted the alt art, because that thing looks crazy. Actually, I keep saying a bunch of the alt arts look crazy, but it really is like most of them in this set I would love to have. Especially with me trying to finish the set, as long as it's different, I don't really care. And so here we've got Dedene, one of my favorite little ones. We've also got Coralia, we've got Switch, Fue Coco, Flor... Floragato. Why did I mess up on that? Anyways, we've also got Floatzel, we've got Rocky Helmet, I feel like there's something in the back there. Anyways, we've got Mankey, Pokemon Catcher, and yeah ha ha, Toxicroak EX. I don't know, I just saw like a little bit of a shine through the side, looks really nice. You know what, I'm just gonna take the stack out of the booster box and we'll put it on the side here so you guys can see how close we are to getting to the end. And if you guys wanna take a look, I mean there is the pile, it's still pretty crazy. And anyways, let's get into this one here, which is a Maridon art. Alrighty, here we go. Let's find out what we've got in this one. Rare Candy, Fido, we've got Dedene, Pineco, Oinkloin, I believe is how you pronounce it, Spirit Tomb, Ultra Ball, Mastiff, Sandial, we've got, ooh, Miriam, and then behind that we've got the basic energy. Again, it's the last card. Uh, anyways, Miriam, that's a nice one. And I know that a lot of people try for the full art trainers just because of how playable they are. And this one here, it says, shuffle up to five Pokemon cards from your discard pile into your deck. If you shuffle any cards into your deck this way draw three cards okay this one's kind of crazy like there is definitely a lot going on there for that card now probably if i do okay here's the thing i haven't swapped over from online to live yet but if i do i'd probably throw her into my deck oh but then again i have to pull her online so maybe i could trade for her because it does look like a pretty op card and we've got lechong we've got rocky chest plate uh ooh, who is this one here this one feels like an older no this one's definitely gen 9 Satitan, i believe it is and anyways we've got flaffy we've got greedent then we've got zangu and Halucha. Also, if you guys are curious, we have got about nine hits so far. So we should be due for like maybe, I don't know, four to six more. And let's hope we are on the six end of this because I would love to see more and more of these nice cards. And I did see that a lot of people were getting a bunch of hits. So we're probably gonna be on the higher end for here. We've got Nimona, first time I've got her. Spathra, Arvin, we've got Cacturn, Fido, Rare Candy, and Professor's Research. Alrighty, now we are back to the starters. And I have a feeling that we're probably gonna pull a starter from the starter pack. I don't know why. So if we do, I think you guys should probably like the video if we do. Let's see, we've got Slowpoke here, we've got Watrell, we've got Zangoose, Krogunk, Youngster, Blissey, come on a starter, come on Switch, we've got Armor Rouge, and Don Dozo. It, maybe it'll be the next pack where we could pull a, ooh, Maridon from the Maridon art. I could see it happening. And I think with this one, if we do hit it, you guys should subscribe. I'm not gonna ask you to like because we can't do that one again. But let's see what we've got here. Lechonk, we've got Flabebe, Growlithe, Staravia, Mezagoza, Heracross, 
Ah, come on. Vitality Band, Squovit, and Indeedy. You know what, never mind, just hit like and subscribe anyway. And if you did, thank you. But now let's get into this next pack here, which is, I did't even check the art on this one. Ah, uh, ooh, Terrastalized Gyarados. Could it be another Terrastalized card? We've got Mareep, Silicobra, Bisharp, Riolu, Judge, Floatzel, Miram. We've got, uh, wait, was that Miram? Uh, Miriam, sorry about that. We've got Varum, we've got Pineco, and ooh, no, wait, it would in the last pack. And actually, now that I pulled the Maridon, I now have both a Coridon and Maridon Hollow for this set. And let's find out what we're gonna be getting in this one. And now that we're opening a Maridon after, we're kind of like sandwiching the card in a Maridon packs. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyways, let's find out what we've got here with Go Goat. We've got Scatterbug, we've got Shuppet, Sprigatito, Lucario, Rock Chest, Rock Chest, Rock Chest Plate. Sorry about that. We've also got Satitan, we've got Staravia, we've got Cacne, and Mia. Mouscarada. Everybody, we are down to 10 packs, and let's hope we can get a couple more things, because I believe we are still at, yeah, we're still at that nine pulls so far. But have no fear, the good cards are here with a Wiglet, as well as a Toadscrewl, Sandile, Dial, Houndoom, Hypno, Beach Court, Sandaconda, I'm also getting better with the names, we've got a Magnemite, and, uh -huh, what? In the same box? Well, this one is definitely gonna be used for trade bait then. Come on, two Miriams. Definitely too bad because I wanted some other trainer, but like I said, I can probably train my brother or my friend Nate to see which one they want. I'm sure they're probably going to get a double two, or at least let's hope so I can train. And alrighty, here we go, everybody. We've got Houndor, we've got Driftloom, so far I'm knowing them all. Satoddle, we've got Varum, T Team Star Grunt, I knew that one. Zangoose, Youngster, Shroomish, oh my gosh! We got the Iron Treads EX. You can see it's got that double gold on the bottom, and then behind that we've got Cyclozar, but seriously, wow! Now, what do we have here? The starters. And I kind of wish that there was a starter art in this set. I know that there is one coming out for Paldea Evolved. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I did pre-order some of that stuff already. I ended up getting the Pokemon Center ETB because I'm trying to get every single one of the promos from this set. I don't know why, but since I'm starting from the beginning of Scarlet and Violet, I thought it'd be fun. And so far, I am completely up to date. I just need a couple of the ones from like the Checkout Lane Blisters now that the cards are going to be out, at least very soon anyway. And once they are, I will definitely be going for them. And now we've got boom. Whoa, I did it again. But anyways, once they are, I will definitely be trying to go for them. And what I'm probably going to do is just buy like one of every single one of the products to make it a little bit cheaper. Because I feel like now I'm getting a lot of the exact same boxes just to get like the cheapest packs of cards I can. But for those ones, I'll just go for like one of each and it'll be a little bit easier. And also let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be going for every single one of the promos. Because at the moment, it's only supposed to be like 35 something, but I know there's going to be more of them. Or at least when I was on, which website was it? Was it TCG Play? or something like that. No, not TCG Player. There's a website that I use to like look at the pack arts and stuff like that and like the sets in general. And they said there was 35 so far confirmed, I think. So I don't know. I guess we'll be finding out together. And now again, another white code card. So I seriously am curious about that one. But anyways, we've got Saviper, Houndor, uh, Citadel. We've got Wug Trio again, Judge, Floats. And I believe these ones here have all been ones that I've seen already. Skelder, Skeledurge, Skeldurge. I don't like keep doing that. Also, with you having two cards at the end, it does feel a little bit weird to still have like I guess technically three of them in your hand it feels like I should be like pulling it back to find another card at the end usually it's a lot thinner but anyways let's see what we've got here Clauncher we've got Dolive we've got Quaxley Pontiard Jock we've got Floragato we've got Experience Share Houndor Clauncher and ooh Coridon EX now everybody we've got four packs left and I believe it's one of yeah it is it's one of every art so which one should we end with here let's end with this one here so let's start with let's start with the starters I guess which would make the most sense to start with the starters and let's find out if we're going to be getting something cool on this one all righty I am excited okay we've got Magikarp we've got Magnemite and I feel like I'm seeing something at the back there it could just be the three three hollow ones, but you never know. Okay, we got Pommy, we've got Dosh Bun, and ah, oh, Annihilate. Not exactly ideal, but I don't really mind. So let's get into the Maridon here and find out if I could get into this one. There we go. If there's gonna be something good inside. Do I just skip to the end? No, I can't. I would ruin it doing that. But we've got Crushing Hammer, we've got Starly, 
Flittle, Shroomish, Stonejourner, Penny. That'd be a really cool one to get. I know that there's a really nice Penny card in this set. Then we've got Nimona and Arbolova. All right, everybody, we're down to the second last pack, and then we'll have to do some last pack magic on the Terastalized Gyarados art. But let's see, what do we have here? I'm gonna be honest, I feel like a lot of these packs started with Clauncher. But anyways, we've got a Quaxly, we've got a Squovit. One of my favorite arts for just like the normal cards. We've got Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, Nest Ball. Oh! Don Dozo! And then behind that, we have Armor Rouge. Now I'm noticing here, it looks like a lot of the packs don't have double hits. That seemed to happen a lot in the older set. So now with this one here, it seems like it's one and done, but you get so many of them. So I guess that's why. But that Don Dozo with the Tatsugiri in the front there is really nice. And now everybody, let's get some last pack magic on the Terastalize Gyarados. Let's find out what we've got in here, if I can get it open. I'm actually so excited about this one. And now I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what makes it different from the rest of the packs, but just having it as last is really fun. So we've got Mankey here, we've got Char uh, Char Cadet, we've got Capsaicid, we've got Potion, okay, we've got Quaxwell, Cyclozar, Toadscrewl, Indeedy, Halucha, and Revavroom. And well, everybody, there we go. That was the entire booster box of Scarlet and Violet base. And let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be picking some up for yourself. And if you do, what is the best hit you've got so far? But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.